Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons. To alert you when to use caution. To replace the circulation pump motor, you will need to uninstall the dishwasher first. To do this, turn off the power to your dishwasher and shut off the water supply valve. Next, remove the screws to release the lower access panel. Pull out the sound dampening pad. Disconnect the water supply line from the inlet valve. Be prepared for some water to spill out. Remove the screw to release the junction box cover. Note the location of the wires, then untwist the wire nuts to disconnect the wires. Use a flathead screwdriver to help remove the strain relief nut and detach the strain relief from the junction box. Next, disconnect the drain hose from the sink drain or garbage disposer and feed it through the cabinet. Open the dishwasher door and remove the mounting bracket screws. To move the dishwasher, you may need to adjust the legs to lower the appliance. You can adjust the rear leveling legs by turning the shaft assembly screws at the front. Now, to avoid damage, very carefully pull the dishwasher away from the cabinet. Open the door and remove both the upper and lower dish racks. Next, hold both ends of the lower wash arm and pull the assembly out. Remove the screw to release the water guide retaining clip. Now detach the water guide from the upper and rear mounting brackets. Then rotate the guide to remove it from the filter assembly. Uninstall the screws securing the filter assembly and lift the assembly out. Now use a Phillips head screwdriver to rotate the wash impeller screw clockwise to remove the impeller. Pull out the diverter and pull off the lower pump housing. Carefully remove the cutting blade. Close the door and carefully tip the dishwasher back so its rear panel rests on a blanket or towel. Remove the screws securing the bottom access plate and pull the plate free. Disconnect the wire harness from the circulation pump motor. Remove the screws to release all three grounding wires. Next, uninstall the motor mounting screws and lift the old motor out. Install the new circulation pump motor by inserting the shaft into the sump. Secure it with the mounting screws. Replace the grounding wires and secure them with the screws. Connect the wire harness to the new motor. Replace the bottom access plate and secure it with the screws. You're now ready to return the dishwasher to its upright position. Open the dishwasher door and replace the cutting blade on the new motor shaft. Align the lower pump housing and push the diverter into place. 
align the wash impeller on the motor shaft and push it into position. Insert the screw and rotate it counterclockwise to tighten. Make sure the gasket is in place on the lower pump housing. Then reposition the filter assembly and secure it with the screws. Insert the water guide into the assembly and rotate to secure. Snap the water guide into the two mounting brackets and replace the retaining clip. Replace the lower wash arm by aligning it on the filter assembly and pushing firmly into place. Make sure the arm spins freely and replace both the upper and lower dish racks. You're now ready to reinstall the dishwasher. Make sure the end of the drain hose is accessible through the cabinet wall. Lift the right side of the dishwasher up and support it with a wood block or a comparable sturdy object. Guide the electrical supply line under the appliance so its wires are accessible through the hole in the junction box. Now remove the support and gently slide the dishwasher back into the cabinet. Adjust the leveling legs if necessary. Replace the screws to secure the mounting brackets to the cabinet or countertop. Feed the drain hose through the cabinet and connect it to the sink drain or disposer. Make sure the hose is elevated above the connection point. Fully position the wire strain relief in the junction box and secure the strain relief nut. Connect the wires using the wire nuts. Align the cover plate and replace the screw to secure. Reconnect the water supply line to the inlet valve. Replace the sound dampening pad. Replace the lower access panel and secure it with the screws. You're now ready to turn the water supply back on, as well as the power, and confirm that the dishwasher is functioning properly.